Hi, this is Tweak. On this week's episode of Tweaks with Tweak, I'm going to take some PVC lawn stakes that I've been saving up and I'm going to turn them into bees for my garden. Join us! Supplies you'll need for this project are you will need some bees. They come eight to a pack and ready to paint. You'll need some paint. Black and yellow are the colors I'm using. These bees will need at least two coats of outside varnish. You'll need a garden wand or a stake, a hot glue gun, some all-purpose glue to help the hot glue to stick. And I'm using a Dremel tool to etch the words into my bee for the garden. So let's get started. I wanted to make some new plant labels for our revamped garden and I had a lot of these sticks, PVC sticks, staffs left over from the lawn crew when they come through and throw one into the lawn. And I saved those and it's a good thing because I found these wooden bees that happen to have a little hole in the top. You're supposed to paint them and hang them. Well I have a different idea. We'll paint them first. I'm going to put down a piece of board. Now I only need a little bit of color to fill in the main body of the bee. So I'm going to start out with some black. And I'm just going to put a little bit right here. I can always get more if I need it. So I'm going to take my brush and just, just outline the head first. That is the easiest part for me. And I'm going to go around. And come around for his head. Every bee is a little bit different and as long as you get a round head and the stripes you are good. Anyone who sees this image will know that is a bee. Every little bee is going to be a bit different which only adds to the charm of them floating out there in the garden. Acrylic dries pretty fast which is nice. This is a, a fun project. So we'll see him just making up the contours of his body there. This is going to be a fat bee. If I want to fit a longer word there, I want a little more space to do it. You can add more layers of paint if you like it to be more dramatic. He's going to be happily out in the garden doing his thing, buzzing there. I can't wait to see these out in the garden. They're just so colorful and cheerful. Color yellow in the garden. Okay, no stingers on these bees. That's nice. Okay, we let this dry. And we'll bring in the yellow. And who's dry here? I'll let you sit aside. You're fine. And bring you in. Okay. And I'm just going to put some yellow right on him. I know I don't have much left in this tube. I've been painting a lot of bees. And all I'm going to do is fill in the two spots between the head and his torso. And that's how you get your stripes. You don't have to draw anything out. Just fill the space. Oh, doesn't that yellow look so bright? Love it. Okay, I'm going to let him sit. When everything gets dried out, you will have a two-sided painted B. Now it's time to bring out the Dremel tool. If I were going to be doing a lot of these, I would be putting a mask on so that I don't breathe in any of the fumes, but it's such a tiny little thing. And I got my Dremel tool here with the bit on it, and now I just have to decide what do I want to write. And because we have two spots of watermelons out in the garden, I want to try to write watermelon. Not enough space, this bee is not fat enough, so I'm just going to put melons. So let's just freehand it. You hang on to this like you would a pencil. Start it up and just go for it. 
You just let the tool do the work. And just let your own writing I didn't leave myself room for the S, but that is okay. Melon. So I'm doing really pulling the pink off. Turn this off and look at how simple that is. Tap off some of that. And we have our bee has got his label. What to do next? Varnish at least two coats because he's going to be outside and he has to be able to weather whatever the weather sends his way. Let's go varnish. I'll put a light coating of varnish and I'll give this bee at least two coats. So once this dries, I'll give him another coat and I'll flip him over and make sure both sides are varnished because he will be outside. RB is varnished, ready to hit the elements, but he's got to hang out there somehow. And so here's how I make use of these lawn stakes. Um, so I thought, well, why don't I don't need this arch part? So I'm going to take my cutter. I'm just going to snip the plastic on this side and on this side. Oh, it's really gone. And now I'm left with this. So I'm going to take the B. He has a hole in him. There's a little a little knob there that's to hold the sign and I'm just going to attach the bee like that. Use that little spot to poke through in the hole of his head and then I'm going to use some adhesive back here to hold it together. What's nice here too is that puts him at an angle and I like that so take him off for a second and I'm going to use some all-purpose power grab all-purpose epoxy and this is going to hold. Just need a little dab. Oh, got it. A little dab of that. And to reinforce that, I'm going to put some hot glue around it. I want the bee. Until that epoxy hardens up, I want the bee to stay put. So here we go, we've got the epoxy and the hot glue. Now you want to be careful you don't touch the hot glue. I'm going to take that little knob and push it through into the bee's head. And then I'm going to hold firm. See that? I can feel the heat through the plastic, but it's not burning. But I think between the epoxy and the hot glue, we're going to have a real tight fit here. All right, so the epoxy will hold, the hot glue is holding, and our bee is done. Let's take him out to the garden. And there you have it. Our bee is ready to tell you well, this is our bin, our planter full of watermelons. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, we've had rain, now we're getting sun, and the melons are starting to pop, and the bee is going to let us know what to look for. See you again.